So apparently it's in Asian genetics to not have any body odor and the internet is going crazy. Let's run the clips. How the hell you spell chauffeur? Chauffeur. Fancy pants, Rich McGee over here. Only an extremely lucky 2% of people have dry earwax, and I'm gonna explain why. See, there's a gene that specifically codes for dry earwax called the ABCC11 gene, and it also codes for stink-free armpits. Dry earwax then is very desirable, but not all ethnicities were made equal on this point. You see, in certain areas of the Far East, more than 75% of people have dry earwax, but this is much rarer in the West where above 97% of people have wet earwax. So if you travel to somewhere like China, you might notice that the deodorant aisles are significantly smaller. You may notice though that people with dry earwax will still follow cultural trends like wearing deodorant or taking a shower every day, even if it's not specifically necessary for them. There's some Asians who have the gene that their sweat doesn't smell and their earwax is dry. I think it's like 80% of Asians and then the other 20% of Asians have smelly sweat and um, wet earwax. A, B, C, C, 1, 1. That's crazy. Anyway. Obviously, because of my stinky feet, you know which gene I did. 80 to 90% of the population. East Asians, there you go. East Very Asians, Very common there you go. among. Oh. There's some genetic talk, you know, I think it's kind of weird, but this one about the ABCC11 gene should be funny enough. Yeah, it's lighthearted, guys. I mean, we're talking about smells and dry earwax here. David, can you give the people a quick background on the ABCC11? So basically, it is a derivative, or actually, it's a non-functioning gene variant that creates dry earwax and little to no body odor, and uh, 100% of Koreans have it. And about 80% of East Asians have it. Right. So it's actually that everybody has the ABCC11 gene, but for a lot of East Asians, it doesn't work. Right, something right, like right, that, right. We basically have a defective copy of it, but that defective copy leads to us not smelling. And a lot of scientists theorize it was developed to deal with cold weather. Oh, interesting. All right. So, uh, guys, we're going to get into it. Lots of funny comments, lots of great personal stories. Do you have dry earwax and less body odor? You might be Asian. So. Right, right, right. Uh, by the way, the occurrence of this goes Korean, Chinese, Mongolian, Japanese, Thai, Vietnamese, Native American, Filipino. Oh. And interestingly, in this study, they ranked it into three different tiers. Because Filipinos are so genetically mixed of a population, they ranked in having no smell to medium smell to high smell. Ah, so David, do you mean that Koreans don't stink? Dad, it was the secret to K-pop and K-drama. That's Korea number one. Um, listen, Andrew, these, this, this science has been out there for like 20, 30 years, and it's probably been talked about on social media or various more like Quora type platforms mm -hmm. or Reddit for 10 years, but until like 500 good looking people on TikTok started talking about it, nobody was even aware of this. Yes, shout out to cute TikTokers who can recite information uh because it now spreads and now everybody's talking about it now what does it mean maybe it means a lot for your life or nothing for your life to be honest it's really not that big of a deal i, I, but I guess what do these traits mean you know like a lot of people say that asians get the asian glow they are slightly lactose they have dry earwax wide feet they have very thick young collagen filled skin mm -hmm. but like should you feel i guess like less asian if you don't have these things or yeah. what, what, that's what people were talking about i was like I don't know. These are just traits. No, I mean, listen, everything is a trade-off. I don't think anybody is perfect. Uh, and that's why people are just people. Now, people are a little bit different, obviously. I mean, you know, genetically, like you said, there's things that Asians or certain groups of Asians may have more than other groups of Asians. But essentially, yeah. I mean, how do you feel about it? I mean, I, I would like to add because... Uh, as a dry earwax, non-smelling -smell person or non-BO person, uh, I think it's it's interesting, but I don't think you have to feel any less Asian because it's not even 100%. You know what I mean? Right. Like, it's not... Just because maybe your earwax is a little bit wet, it doesn't mean you're not Asian, but you're probably in the minority of Asians. Right, right, right. Also, there are other traits of uh, Asians, such as having shovel incisors. 
You mean on the back of the teeth? Yeah, on yeah. the back of the teeth. Like I guess the right. teeth look like shovels. I don't know, guys. I'm popping up the chart you know, right here. Let, uh, me, let me tell you this though. Let me let me just chime in, guys. Just be and and it's not Asians bragging about not having strong bo because we this is, are the cleanest. You know that that's why some people wanted to no, say no, that no, no. But I'll tell you this: some East Asians can have pretty stinky breath, dude. People, I don't know, and I, it might be a hygiene factor, but I will say this: I've talked to way too many East Asian people with stank breath. Now, maybe their bodies didn't smell as bad after they sweat, but, oh, man, Just, halitosis? Well, Ooh. I think people, people eat a lot of garlic, too. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. Heavy garlic people. And we like our garlic, like, barely cooked. Right, right, right. Um, I never really understood deodorant. Like, I guess that's the big thing. A lot of people were talking about in East Asia, it's hard to find deodorant. It is. It you have is. to go to the foreign market. Yeah, you know, growing up, David, when we were thinking of deodorant and people were like, oh, buy Old Spice and buy Axe Spray. And then I was just like, I don't think I even need this. I was like, do people need this? But you know what bugged me about the dry earwax thing? And this is to the dry earwax thing is that remember mom would lay us down on a pillow and pick our, our ear, right? With the bamboo ear pickers. It's yeah. very, very Asian thing to do, right? But when our Russian neighbor, she did it on our Russian neighbor, he had wet, dry earwax. And this is when we were kids. And that was the first time I thought, I thought he had an ear infection because as a dry earwax person, if your earwax is actually gooey, not just from the shower gooey, but actually gooey, that means you have an ear infection essentially right 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 so that's why i was like you know you're all exposed to these things at a young age and no one really talks about them because you're not really learning it in like biology high school you know yeah, so. i mean I infographics like this and tiktok and the dissemination of information it just wasn't even like that back then right yeah anyway let's just get into the comments section somebody said having the abcc11 gene doesn't mean you're immune to smelling bad you just don't excrete that much body odor smelly odors will still stick to you yes yeah, so it's totally possible for you to still be smelly, but it may just, uh, the sources or the systemic core of those smells may be a little different. Also, guys, and also, like, what you eat and, honestly, your weight and your kind of, like, body fat percentage can also uh, play a factor into smelling. Uh, you know, I know bigger, more overweight people, it is, uh, it is scientifically proven that they could smell more, too. You know, just because they sweat more and, right. and maybe the fat cells and stuff like that. So, yeah, if you're a big Asian, you might smell more than the, the smaller Asian. Somebody said, I'd rather have BO and have the enzyme to break down alcohol. Wow. Right, because Asians, typically, they lack the uh, acetaldehyde. Yes. Right, the ability to process alcohol. That's why we turn flush. And there potentially are some ramifications more for uh, cancer. Uh, as people would say... God is fair, right? Nobody is perfect. I, David, I don't even know if I know any East Asians that don't get red when they drink, can drink milk without any sort of indigestion. Well, a lot of Asians are slightly lactose. Don't sure. have eczema and don't get Asian glow. Like, find me an East Asian that doesn't get any of that. Yeah, and doesn't have wide feet. Or shovel incisor <laughs> teeth. Yeah, I mean, you're going to have a couple of those. I'm not saying you're going to have I mean, I don't think those things are necessarily bad. I just think that, yeah. Somebody said dysfunction, more like superior evolution. This guy was obviously, you know, proud of it. I think it's a way to flip things that we've been viewed as. Like, I think the one about not smelling just seems generally like a little bit better than not. But you know, like how a lot of Asians have uh, are viewed as having neotenous faces, which mm -hmm. is like baby-like faces. I'll, people used to flip that on us and say, oh, you look weak. But then yeah. you could also say we age way better. Like right. everything has a pro and a con side depending on how you per perceive it, right? Right. Yo, this girl, Bernice, said, bro, not only do I not have the gene, but I also have hyperhidrosis. So she's what she's saying is that she's saying that she does have a little BO and also sweats profusely. So that's, a, that's an issue. Right, Sucks. right. <laughs> um well i don't know yeah maybe she's part western <laughs> but shit, maybe. i don't know who knows could be mixed um there's this meme that says india watching the abcc 11 gene missed them and hit korea that's crazy <laughs> man i didn't make that all right it's funny it's funny i mean that listen memes are funny someone said uh to be honest i didn't even know i just noticed that the f past few years my armpits finally started smelling i was wondering if i was developing diabetes or something that my body chemistry changed what seems to have helped is shaving and acne wash uh somebody said hey maybe you got a more western diet yo you know what i noticed i noticed as my beard came in 
my BO increased to like by like 10, 15%. You think so? Yes. I, are you sure? Yes. I will say this. I d- had no body older, uh, older my entire life. It has increased by 10 to 15% over the past couple of years as I've gotten a beer. You smell it yourself? Because I don't, I don't notice it off you personally. No, no. I'm saying it went from like zero to like 10%. Like it's still, it's like if I shove my nose of my armpit, I can yeah. finally get some of that you know, scent that I smelled my whole life in the middle school plan A. I, I'm sure there's some other study that says maybe having so much hair does contribute to having more BO. Maybe. Or, or, or it's possible that as you get older, maybe, you know, it, your genes change like five, 10%. Oh, well. you know how they say old people smell? That's crazy. But no, I mean, cause you know, babies don't smell like almost no babies smell. Babies smell great. Yeah. Almost all like every ethnicity of baby, but now Obviously, you grow older, and then you get more BO. Let me know in the comments section below, guys, what's happening. Um, ultimately, Andrew, what are your takeaways? Is this an interesting thing? Like I said, there's stuff that's been in scientific journals for 30 years. It's been talked about on the internet for 10 to 15 years, but it hasn't become pop cultural internet news until the past year. Well, I think, honestly, my the thing is, is that when it comes to genetics, I think there it has been a little bit taboo because you're, like, making statements about people's biology. Now, not even all East Asians or not even all Koreans fall into this, um, but obviously it does seem like the more East Asian you are, the less you, this ABCC11 gene works, right? So possibly the less body odor you have. That's the general pattern. But I'm saying, like, I guess people talking about things felt a little bit taboo and maybe like racial or like, Ooh, you being like a superior to the blah, blah, blah. Or you're talking about people's strengths and weaknesses and genetics. But I think like people now, especially on something that seems so kind of like kind of trivial, like body odor, it's like lighthearted and people can talk about it more. But yeah, I mean, like, I guess the whole talks about genetics, people want to share this information more. I don't know. Maybe more people just want to talk about science, I guess. Hey, man, I'm for the return of science as long as people, you know, I guess talk about it the right way yeah. or, or be educated. Use it to get smarter about everything in your life. Uh, Use the infographics from the ABCC11 gene and apply it to your finances. Yo, by the way, I will say this about dry earwax. I saw a comment that was like, yo, guys, just a question. Does the dry earwax ever like fall out or rattle around? It does. Yeah. It does. Oddly enough, sometimes one, sometimes I'll just be sitting there and I'll just turn this way and then the little thing will fall out, okay? Almost like a super dry booger. But sometimes I can hear it jiggle in my head and it kind of bothers me sometimes. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I have to like either get it picked out or wash you it out. You gotta get the Korean or Q-tips that are black with the little ribbing. Oh, the Koreans do make the extra ribbed Q-tip. And, because, and you got to make sure they're black too. Yeah. So you can see the, so you can see the earwax on them. Oh, right. See, see guys, just so you know, the Western Q-tip is like this ball of like tightly spun cotton, but it doesn't really work on no Asians grip. that well. Yeah. You need the ribbed one and it scoops it out actually when you twirl it. So anyways, uh, all right guys. Well, that's the dry earwax and the body odor thing right there. That's it. That's it. It's a fact, I guess. So let us know if these things apply to you. Don't worry. Even if they don't, you're probably still Asian. All right. So thank you everybody for watching. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.